All right, so this is problem uh, 160 from your thermodynamics book. So, okay, so this problem basically they're asking um, what is the height of a building where uh, two barometer measurements were made, the top and bottom of the building. So at the top, they, it gave us 730 millimeters uh, in mercury and the bottom 755 millimeters. Okay, so... Uh, and they gave us the densities as well, right here. This is uh, densities of air and mercury. Now, what's important to know is if you don't know how a barometer works, basically they're just measuring uh, this, what a barometer looks like. Actually, it's kind of like a little tube thing like this. And it empties into this little little receptacle so this would be filled with uh, mercury all of this like a little pool of mercury so what's special about this device is that here we have a vacuum so this is vacuum so that's zero pressure and here we have atmospheric pressure, right? Because it's going to be outside this in the air. So we have a, that gives us a way of measuring just by measuring how far up this tube the mercury is. Um, differences in pressure. So that's how they give us these readings, right? Okay, so let's get started. So the main thing to start off with is just taking your uh, what atmospheric pressure would be at the top and bottom of that building. So starting by the top from that formula we used last time it's a uh, rho g h. In this case since we're measuring from a barometer this is density of mercury as gravity and height. So in this case I think it gives us if you use the measurements well the values they've given you, 13,600, 9.81, and height of, for the top, it's uh, 730. Oh, and be careful with your units. Uh, this is in uh, meters per second squared. This is in kilograms per meter cubed. So this one, not to confuse meters with millimeters, you might as well put it in meters which is 0 0.730, 0 0.730 meters. That should give you 97.39 kilopascals. And you do the same thing for the bottom. Equal rho g h. And you use the h for the bottom, which is 755. Same value for rho because it's still mercury. And g is the same value always. So that should give you 100.73 kilopascals at the bottom. So logically, the bottom has uh, a higher pressure than the top. Okay, so now what we need to establish is the height of the building. So basically, we have this situation going on. It's a rho g. I'll explain it as I go. Hold on, just let me write it out. G h. Oh, whoops, I don't know why I did that. This is a uh, air equal p bottom minus p top. So the density of the air is the one we use in this formula. So basically what we're saying is that the difference in uh, pressure from the top and the bottom of the building is equal to the pressure due to the air, right? So that's why we have rho air. And this height is going to be the not the height of the barometer, but the height of the building that we're looking for. So if you end up getting height equal p 
bottom minus p top divided by rho g is air you should get 288.53 meters now if your if your units aren't working out maybe a simple mistake so let's go over the units real quick if you don't understand if you understand great if you don't just hang on for a second so the top of this equation this part is in kilopascals or in pascals whatever you want to have it in but ideally let's say it's uh, in pascals so that would be newtons per meter squared as the top of the equation now this part is density so kilograms per meter cubed times gravity which is meters per second squared okay so to simplify this um, you know this part is equal to Newton's so you continue this equal to Newton's per meter cubed and the rest of the top stays the same now you probably know this technique you bring this these two multiplied at the bottom and these two multiplied at the top that should give you newtons meter cubed divided by newtons meter squared newtons newtons and cubed goes away with this so you have meters all right so just get used to those conversions the sooner you do it the better all right so that's it this should be your answer